Many YouTubers will tell you that you need to do everything a certain way. And they might not have the machine that you have. What I'm going to show you is what I do for my machine. I do exactly what the manufacturer manufacturer I do exactly what the manufacturer tells you to do. I'm auto bed leveling the level of my bed automatically. Let me show you how. Here first, hold this. So every time I get done with one of my prints, I pop off the entire sheet, make sure it's clean, and then I put it back on. Sometimes there's small prints that can fit in the palm of your hand. Other times, they are big prints that took almost 30 hours to do. Zero out the X, Y, and Z axis, axes. Yeah, I can't talk to that. And then I do the automatic bed level. It doesn't matter if it's Creality, Anycubic, Elegoo, uh, Prusa. Yeah. There's so many out there. Elegoo tells you to use an A4 sheet of paper to find the Z offset for your nozzle. I have done that every time and I have not had any problems whatsoever. Warm up the machine, do the auto bed leveling, and then come back and make sure that we have a perfect Z offset. Then we can start our print. I always stick around to make sure that first layer, whether it's a skirt, a brim, a raft even, comes out perfect. Even if it's just the print itself with no bed adhesion help from the slicer program, I will make sure that it looks complete, that there's nothing being dragged along by being too low or no bumps by being too high. You want that nozzle exactly where it needs to be. With every machine being different, you need to look at the exact machines, how it auto bed levels, and also how you interact with the machine to make sure your Z offset is correct. The machine has just gone through its 49 different points on the bed level. Now it's going to come back and it's going to tell me, pay attention to the distance between the nozzle and the bed about the thickness of a sheet of A4 paper. Can you read that? Look at those little friggin' beautiful pictures right there too. It shows you exactly what you're looking for. I'm gonna press confirm. I'm gonna put that back down there. You can look at all those numbers on each and every individual spot. Ooh, I am really high. Just by looking underneath, I can see I'm really high. I said I'm really high. On this machine, I can do one millimeter increments, 0.1 millimeter, and 0.01 millimeter. At this moment, I'm in the middle with 0.1 millimeter. I'm gonna go down. Paper still moves. I'm gonna go down and get, oh, 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 the paper's starting to get dragged on there. That's what you wanna feel, that little bit of a drag. I'm gonna go down one more. Now I can barely push it through without it crinkling. So you know that it, once I pull it out, I won't be able to get it back underneath. I'm gonna go back to the zero one millimeter. I'm gonna raise it ever so slightly until I can get back underneath. Still moving, still moving. It's starting to, to drag the paper just a little bit. I like to kind of squish that first layer, make sure it's in there correctly. I really like that. It's a drag, mm, but it's not too bad of a drag. I'm actually happy with that. Now that the bed is totally level, I can actually start my print. I can throw in my SD card, press print, and go right ahead with everything. Remember, stick with the manufacturer's stuff for now. Just like your manufacturer for your vehicle, 
says to do certain things, the manufacturer for your microwave or oven upstairs in your kitchen say to do certain things. Stick with that for now and see what happens. You might not have a bad time with actually how it works altogether. And another thing, don't go crazy. It's a machine. There's gonna be problems with it here and there. Walk away from it. Just walk away. Take your time, breathe. Now that I made this video and everything, I just noticed I don't even have an SD card down here to show you how I print it, but I gotta print the other half of my helmet. Is this thing even on?